On October the 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. The main event caused a worldwide sensation. The Soviet Union had beaten the United States into space. The beach ball-sized satellite orbited the Earth every 96 minutes for three months until it burnt up as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. After Sputnik's success, America increased spending on its own satellite program. Space exploration became a priority for both the Soviet Union and the United States. The launch of Sputnik 1 had given birth to the space race. The origins of Soviet space exploration can be traced back to the Russian theorist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. Between 1883 and 1932, he worked out the basic theoretical concepts of practical rocketry and spaceflight. His vision of man leaving the Earth and colonizing space inspired young engineers and space scientists, including Korolev, Glushko, and Tikhonrovov. In 1952, the International Council of Scientific Unions declared the period from July 1957 to December 1958 as the International Geophysical Year. Both America and the Soviet Union announced their intention to launch an artificial satellite to mark the occasion. The Soviet space program was reliant on support from the military and so was classified. Details of missions were kept secret until success was assured. In the 1950s, the space program was dominated by three powerful personalities. Chief designer Sergei Korolev, head of the Atomic Weapons Laboratory Igor Kurchatov, and president of the Soviet Academy of Sciences Mstislav Keldysh. In 1954, Korolev proposed the development of an artificial satellite to the Soviet Ministry of Defense. On January the 30th, 1956, the Council of Ministers of the USSR approved work on an artificial Earth-orbiting satellite named Object D. The satellite, which would carry a large amount of scientific instruments, was to be completed between 1957 and 1958. The ambitious design took longer to construct than expected. Fearing the United States would launch a satellite before them, Korolev's team suggested the creation of a simpler satellite, the small, spherical Sputnik 1. On the night of October the 4th, 1957, a rocket launched the Sputnik satellite into space. Soviet designers, engineers and technicians watched the launch, then hurried to a mobile radio station to listen to signals from the satellite as it made its first orbit of the Earth. Teams of visual observers were alerted to watch the Soviet sphere at dawn and during the evening twilight. Radio enthusiasts around the world tuned in to hear the beeping signals of Sputnik 1 as it passed overhead. News of the launch caused a stir in the United States. The nation's technological leadership was threatened and citizens feared that the Soviets could now launch missiles carrying nuclear weapons at America. Before President Eisenhower had a chance to restore national confidence and prestige, the Soviets struck again. On November the 3rd, 1957, Sputnik 2 was launched, carrying the first living passenger into orbit, a dog named Laika. She died a few hours after takeoff from stress and overheating, although animals in later missions survived. In February of 1958, America finally launched its first satellite, Explorer 1. Three years later, the Soviet Union would put the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space. Then, in 1969, American Neil Armstrong would become the first person to set foot on the moon. The main event of 1957 had ignited a space race that would continue for decades to come. In the years since it orbited our Earth, Many more advanced satellites have been created, but none have had the historical impact of the small and simple Sputnik 1.